Fixed frame rate and crashing problems experienced on some devices and improved the performance of the game on most devices. Holy sh! Yeah, baby, girl, you're so damn fine. No, wanna know if I can hit it from behind? No, I'm sipping on you like some fine wine. No, when it's over, I press rewind. No, talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another CD video. Yes, the update patch notes are out and it looks like the developers are finally fixing the game. Again guys, I said I'm still going to be posting CD videos on this channel, but I'm just going to be posting a lot more Call of Duty videos. So I hope you guys can still hit the likes on the Call of Duty mobile videos and enjoy that while we're getting into that game. But this video is purely to read over the patch notes and check exactly what's to come in this Thursday update. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first guys, you know the friggin' routine. Hold on a minute. Okay, much better. Thick. Okay, boys, so here we go. We're going to check out the patch notes right now. Let's have a quick look. September 26th, which is in two days' time, guys. Big frigging update. You guys are going to enjoy this. Trust me. Stick with me and listen to this, all right? Special reminder, the maintenance that was planned for October 3rd has been cancelled. Regular maintenance will resume on October 10th. So there's not going to be an update next week. This is going to be the last update this Thursday for two weeks, okay? So number one, the beehive item has been revamped. So the beehive trap, guys, this is what they're on about. And we'll return to the game after the maintenance with an all-new design. Considering the low usability of the original beehive, we decided to redesign it. The new beehive will be a throwable item. When the beehive hits a panel, a swarm of bees will begin to devour all the panels around it. Even a large number of level 5 panels will quickly disintegrate under the hive's might. The new beehive will make it easier for explorers to deal with large quantities of high level panels. So... It looks like the beehive, guys, is literally going to be some end game loot because it just says there it gets rid of gold panels like that. So the new beehive, guys, I can't wait to try it out this Thursday. It looks like it's going to be absolutely insane. Let me know, guys, what you think about that in the comments because that's pretty cool because the normal beehive's okay, but it's only okay if you can actually get someone with it where this one's a throwable, so you can actually throw it at someone and you can sting them with a load of bees, so... I want to see how much damage that does. That's going to be interesting. So let's have a look. Number two. Heal bots can no longer be fused in the workshop, but they can still be found normally. So that's pretty good because a lot of you guys know that the, uh, the freaking, some of the gadgets, the gadget list is so big. Like when you're trying to quickly go through the gadgets and make something, you could get shot while doing that. So I think they've taken that out just to give a little more space in the gadget list. But heal bots can still be found on the floor because you know... Basically, the best way to use heal bots is in the last circle, end game loot, and literally you can just put those on the ground and you can just survive the last storm and out heal your enemy. So that's pretty cool. Here we go, boys. A CD showdown. The battle of the CD showdown are getting more and more intense. The highly anticipated grand final begins this weekend. The top 100 players. Go away. The top 100 players. Um, have made it through a series of arduous elimination matches and will now duke it out for the ultimate victory this weekend with the champion's crown and $5,000 on the line. Who will claim the final prize? So the CD Showdown, guys, uh, will take place on September 28th, which is this Saturday, uh, 8 till 11 server time. Don't miss it. So, boys, as you know, I already made it to the final on the US server and the med server, so I've got two chances at the final so, wish me luck in the comments, and uh, yeah. I tell you what, guys, if I win the final with the prize money, I'm going to be doing some massive diamond giveaways. So, I hope you, all got, you guys can watch me this Saturday fight for the crown and hopefully win the CD showdown. We'll see. Um, 
So the store updates, the Lone Star and the Astral Phantom are flying in on an interstellar, interstellar shuttle vehicle. There's some more new skins. On September 26th, the new interstellar shuttle pack will be available in the store. It contains male and female suits and three vehicle skins. Get it while it's hot. Uh, September 26th, two new looks, the handsome suit and the romantic wedding dress will be added to the advanced supply box. All players can use star coins to draw the advanced supply box for a chance to get them. So, as you boys know, I got this um, granted for you guys. As you know, the uh, the regular supply box is right here. I convinced the developers to add more of the newest skins into there. Because, again, a lot of you guys haven't got money and you want to try and earn those. So, I've got a couple of star coins now. So, I think I'm going to save them for, for the 26th so we can try and get some of those cool new skins. So, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so number three, on October 3rd, the male and female Deep Warrior suits as well as the legendary flamethrower skin Arctic Fireworks will be available in the store. So basically a lot more new skins, guys, coming into the game. That's pretty cool. Now here's the interesting part. So it looks like CD is finally getting a big upgrade. They've listened to us. We've been going on for so long about the FPS drops and the lag in the game. This is the only mobile game that lags as much as it is because it, is, it is lags so much. So, number one, they've added support for the latest iPhones, including iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro, so some of the new iPhones. Number two, they fixed frame rate and crashing problems experienced on some devices and improved the performance of the game on most devices. Let's freaking go! Oh my god, we've been waiting for so long for the developers to finally fix the frame rate of the game. There's so much lag, there's so much frame rate, especially when you go close to an enemy and you get into a fight. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this Thursday is going to fix creative destruction. If it doesn't, then there's no hope for the game, guys, okay? So they're going to be adding in the smooth graphic graphic capability as well, which they'll be adding sort of uh, in here. I'm guessing like here, and they'll move these four along. Um, but yeah, guys, tell me what you think about that, because they are finally upgrading this damn game. Oh my god. Ugh. Anyway... Only a short video, guys. Look out for my Call of Duty video that I'm going to be dropping later today. I'll get a sniper montage. So make sure you go hit a like on that as well. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be probably double dropping videos once and then dropping a single video the next day. Then another two videos. We're going to go from there. You guys that have watched to the end of this video, I'm going to be giving away 500 diamonds. All you have to do is get the likes over 500 and drop one comment down below. If you've lasted this long, Drop a comment and I'll pick one of those random comments to win 500 free Creative Destruction Diamonds. So can we get some fingers crossed in the comments, boys, that this Thursday is going to fix the crashes and the lag and the just everything, the FPS of the game. So thank you for watching, boys. Check out the Call of Duty video dropping later on and I will see you in the next video. Yeah, boys!